All right, welcome in, everybody. It's Friday, March 19th, 2021, 117. And why do we trade? Why do you and I get on this computer every day and trade? It is because we tired of clocking into the man, aren't we? We tired of answering to other people. We want to be our own boss in this wonderful country of opportunity. Where else can you start a business that has no employees, unless you want to hire somebody to kind of keep up with your stuff? or to do whatever, bring you coffee, whatever, uh, and have no inventory, no physical inventory. We have an inventory of positions, right? And to the no on in her business, don't got your own need at my position. This much of is going to you and I. Rick, good to have you here. We're having a fabulous day. And as I told y'all, I think this week may be the best week that we'll have. And I think things are going really well for us. Because I looked at our net lick the way that it's dog going to get that. I'm calling this uh, 374.08. So, y'all, today, uh, next one is 6.05. The crowd, man. What is it? Now, 3.29. So, we are flat, baby. So, that tells me that the market has gone, what, maybe down yesterday from since it was yesterday? It was here where we did it? Because if it goes down, our deltas go up, right? So let's see what our theta is today. It was 239 yesterday. I was a, <gasps> we're all the way down to $2.86. Give me a mouth, y'all. It is Friday. Look at this. We have sucked it. Things are decaying. We must have positions expiring today that are making us money because we went from 239 in theta to 86 in theta. Y'all, how sweet it is to be loved by me. All right, Vega is positive, y'all. 3204, we'll say. And how much, so, you know, our theta is down. So we got to put on new positions. We know that, right? This is in line, though. Uh, should be between 0.1 and 1% of our account. Then final thing that we need to check on our little deal here is to see how much buying power that we are using. And we're using 21012. A little more than yesterday. 21012. All right, so we're using 40% of our buying power. Now, where should we be? 35%, right, based on current VIX. But as long as you're not going over 50%, you're fine. So are we delta neutral? Yes, we are. This should say no adjustment, no adjustment, no adjustment. So how does the forest look? The forest is fine, y'all. The forest is fine. So... I told you it's payday, so let's make payday happen because these are the fun days, right? So if you miss uh, any of our sessions together, you miss Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I got you, right? Because we're just doing the same old, same old. But on Friday, it's our payday. That's when Bobby's mama, sweet Bobby's mama, who's been working at the plant factory all week, gets paid. You know, she brings home her $300 for a whole week's work or whatever it was back in the day. And she comes and picks me and my sister up and we go to the Burger King and we get us two Whoppers each and we just sit down and eat those and have a time. So it's payday, time to go eat the Whoppers. So let's check our trees and see how they're doing. So we have a little stuff here, y'all, that we have credit spreads on. And we need to see if there's anything that we're gonna start to take off, right? So we know we've got this beautiful campaign going on where we're putting one on at about, uh, what? Uh, 60 days out, and we're going to close these when it gets to 30 days, right? So right now, have we been in any trade 30 days? No. And I've made a little thing here that's supposed to highlight any of these when it gets to 30, right? If we've been in a trade 30 days, it's going to give me a signal. I went in and did that yesterday. So if you need to know how to do that so you can tell on your campaign when to close it, let me go. But as soon as that gets to 30 days, y'all, I'm closing it come hell or high water. And so I'm putting one on at 50 every day, taking one off every day. And I'll be doing that in this campaign. Right? Look how far away those are from the short strike, y'all. Those are perfectly safe. There's our deltas, thanks to Rick, giving us the idea to put this into our spreadsheet. So these trades don't need to be closed, right? So we've got a broken wing butterfly that's uh, closing out today. And looks like we've got a little... Uh, Shabingi here, a little credit spread. This is our rig trade that uh, closes out today. So we got all kinds of stuff to do. Right? 
So let's just think about it. What would I have y'all do? What would we do? Well, why don't we put on our, our uh, Cameron Skinner trade first? Let's just do it. So the Cameron Skinner trade, we'll, we'll have it working, right? Is I'm gonna go out in SPX and we're gonna go out SPX, just I mean, just same old thing. Order. My wife asked me today, best like, well, why aren't you trading GameStop if all these people are making enough money to support apes and to sponsor them? She said, why don't you get in on that? And I had to have this, uh, this long uh, drawn out conversation with her about how you and I are more cautious than that. Huh? So what are we doing on the Cameron Skinner trade? He goes 10% out of the money. So if you're going 10% out of the money, that means you'll take this little puppy here. You take the current price. You go 39.22 times 0.9 because that's the current price, right? Times 0.9 equals. So you're going to go down to about 35.30 or so. So let's see what we can do. Actually, do I'm filling these in. See where I've got a, little, a 16 delta. We could sell a 10 wide. I'm not opposed to taking that much risk. So let's sell the six, the 35.60. And I won't worry about recording these today. We got a lot of work to do. We'll, uh, I'll record them later. It'll take me probably an hour to record everything that we've got to do today. So if we do that, let's bring in 90 cents, baby. Does that sound good to y'all? Let's let that work for 90 cents. Let's see what we can get. Can Sweet Bobby take in 90 cents on that? Doubtful. Right, work there. See if the market will go down a little bit and get us filled. So we got, now what's the other trade that I need to do? Well, with that one, we need to do the uh, Rick trade. But I can wait a little while on that one, right? No big deal. All right, so there's my credit spreads. Let's just look at everything that we got going on. I'll put the RIT trade on, hopefully, as soon as I take this other one off, right? So that one's 58 away from the money. Look at this. This one is 24 points away from my short strike. Let's go look at my butterfly today, y'all. Could, could the butterfly actually hit the, uh, the jackpot today? Let's see it. SPX. So we'll do SPX. We'll come here. That's showing all of my positions, right? Positions show all. We'll hide simulations. And we'll go close this garbage up. I don't want to see my butterfly. Where's my butterfly? Here it is. One, two, one. Right? 39, 39, 10, 38, 80. So let's uncheck all of these and then let's just check the butterfly. Shipping, shipping, shipping. Oh, we got good. We can do, let's see, all three simple. What's that? The 38, 34, 38, 45. I'll probably just let that go right into expiration if I can. Current probability of that short stripe being in the money is 1.56%. Woo! Woo! Feel like Ric Flair, y'all. Feel like I need to wrestle somebody. All right, so everything's looking good there. I won't record that trade that we're in, and then I'll do another RIC trade, SPX trade, at the end of the day. So that's good. So now let's go to the equities and see what we shall do, shall we? So we've got, uh, oh, my gosh. Now, here's where Sweet Bobby got into a little bit of trouble last week is I wanted to watch all of this stuff just go to zero, right? I wanted to let it just, you know. I'm at 97%, I'm at 95, I'm at 96, 90, 78, 98. I just wanted to let all of those go to expiration and sit at my computer and marvel at what a great trader that Sweet Bobby is. That's what I wanted to do last week. And I got in trouble by doing that because I didn't get them all closed out. Apple didn't go to zero by four o'clock and I had to close it out for like 12 bucks. You know, it was just a pain in the rear. And I don't want to sit and watch the markets all day. I got stuff to do. I got to milk chickens. I got to walk the ducks. I got, you know, I got all this stuff that I got to do. So I can't sit here and watch this all day. So, you know, maybe a better strategy is while we get together and do this every day, just close them down and then immediately re-enter for next week, right? So I don't have to worry about getting all the, the, the juice out of that as long as I've got that position on at all the time, right? So I don't want to worry the last 30 together right now. Now let's ring the rail here. I'm even going to break day today. Coverage and stuff. Here's where we look. $9 times is, let me zoom out. Our basis on that is uh, chunking at it, right? We're chunking at it. We'll get out at a nickel. 
the rat with me. Okay, so let's let's take our profit on that one, so we can take this out, right? Because that slows down our worksheet, and we're going to put in 0.05 here. And come on, yeah, two hundred sixty dollars of profit. That just whittles away at our basis, y'all. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So we'll say that we got out on the 19th. And here we go. Oh man, this is gonna be a great week for us. I'm just, I'm just, I'm optimistic. Let's see how it finally ends. We may have to go a little long today, y'all. Taking profits is always fun, but it takes a while. Huh? Look at this, y'all. We're on track for $4,512. The worst trader that y'all know is doing pretty doggone good. And y'all are too. I just feel it. All right. Gone. So let's go look at our weekly premium and marvel at ourselves for a little bit. Because now we've made $610 this week. Look at sweet Bobby. Now we're at 54% capture rate. Let's go close some more, y'all. Let's go. Well, hold on a minute. I say that. Now I got to make sure. And I'll record this later, right, on my spreadsheet. I don't think y'all want to see it. So let's go ahead while we're here. Let's go out seven days. All right. What do we do? We close the 324 put. So what do we do? We go out seven days again. We're going to sell another one. Or we're going to sell it. I could go all the way up to the money if I want to bring, oh, there's my number. Y'all remember Boy Scout Troop 203, best dang troop you'd ever see. Let's do that one. You don't tell you 40 Delta, let's sell that puppy. Ship paint, ship paint. Let's try to get 209. Let's be greedy. Let's get 208. Let's sell a put, zero buying power effect. Chaboom, chaboom. So we got another trade on, right? Come on, baby, feel me. Be careful who you say that with. I said it a couple day times today at the uh, thing, and some of the moms of the other kids looked at me very, very strange. Be careful who you say. Come on, baby, feel me. All right, here we go. Uh, did we get filled? Did we get filled? Hum digga dugga. Hum digga dugga. No, dang it. 202. Come on. Bring us in $200 of premium. There we go. Come on. Give me another beat. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, dang it. 201. Dang it, I'll go to $2. Get us in there. I'd like to bring over $2. $200 into the fold. And remember, while you and I are doing this, everybody else is looking for trades. Everybody's like, oh, let me go. And there we go. That's two and a penny. All right, so everybody else is looking for trades. We don't have to look for trades when we got campaign trades, right? So I'll record that later. Okay, so we're now seven days out on that. So now we said we got to close something else. What else are we going to close? We're going to close the Q trade. Y'all, we're at $305 profit. Oh, is it so pretty? I could let it go to the end of the day. No need in doing that. Let's don't be greedy. So let's trade our Qs. Get our monitor tab. Get this one down. Let's find our Q trade. We've got a long put way out, 180 days. We've got this short put that we're going to close at but you and our green are 13. So what do we do, y'all? Now we'll go out another seven days. And if I'm going too fast, let me slow it down. And let's go set the market. I don't care. Sell another one. 37 months. I'm getting this juicy stuff here. Wow, well, it's up 2.9%. You don't sell puts on up days. We do. So let's bring in let's bring 38. And we close it at uh, D. October. So I Woo! Rick Flair, baby. So let's go here. Get a 50% profit. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Now we're on track to do $6,000 just in the equities on the year. So let's go here. The quickest way to get your green on there is to go here. I like showing y'all different things in Excel. Click on that line above you. Click Format print Painter and do the one like that. And it'll do that one just like that. All right. Let's skip IWM because it is not profitable now. Let's take our Apple trade that expires today. We are up 97% on that, selling a call. Let's close her, baby. Oh. Hey, Lily, be quiet. Daddy's having too much fun. Let's go in here. Green days are so fun. Let's close the call. I mean, we're just, I mean, y'all, everybody else is looking for trades. You and I are looking for nothing. Let's see if we can get out for two cents. Can we get out for two cents? 
A lot of people would let these expire, not me. I'm closing it all, baby. I do not want to hold stuff and have catastrophe follow me because I got a black cloud around me anyway. All right, now we should be out at 10 cents and we're out. So what do we do? Very simple. We go out and we sell another call in Apple, right? So we go out to Apple. Here we are. We got seven days. What are we going to do? We're going to sell a call. Everybody else and their mama is looking for a trade to do, right? So let's do the uh, 38 or the 31. Let's bring in $147. We sell the call. We're going to try to get $1.48. Here we go. Again, we're not looking for trades. We have campaigns. God, is this great. I think Rick, Rick may start. I'm already seeing for today. I'm my fast. My 16 hours ends at 3:10 in the morning because I eat like a hog today. I had peach cobbler on the the buffet, and I had ice cream and chicken livers, fried chicken. But y'all, today was so good. All right, so I'm in my apple trade, right? Let me make sure I forget. I'm in my apple. Yeah, sold apple, and we closed apple. So let's go book profits. If this gets old to y'all, this what is wrong? This can't get old. So we got filled on our apple for three cents. Let's go book it. Three cents, 0.03. There we go. So that gave us a profit on apple of $136.90. So we go over here and we got to book that profit, right? So to book it, you got to put your end date of when you closed it. So we closed it at 319.21. And book our hundred and whatever dollars. So then we can make this all green, which is fun. And we'll do it like we did a while ago. Just click right here, do format painter, and we'll go make the apple line all green by clicking there. Shipping, shipping. So let's go to our weekly premium, not to brag, but uh, here we go. Finally, now we're 1,053, baby. So we went from losing 1,200 to getting it back in one week to then going to making 1500 last week to now we're up to 1053 this week. Let's keep ringing the register. I ain't finished yet. I told you we were gonna have a great, great day. I think the best week we've ever had. So let's go back to equities, see what else we can close. XSP is at 80%, $186, coaching XSP. And XSP gives us 1256 tax benefits, doesn't it? So let's go to XSP. Let's bring the register, baby. No need to wait to the end of the day. It does expire today. I could get all that premium, but I am not going to be greedy. We're going to close it and we're going to put something else on. See this weekend. I can't get it 44. So five days to go out and we're going to sell another put and go all the way up to the money. Let's try this three nine. The 34 or the 38. Let's get two dollars and 18 cents here. Okay, profits on the XSP. Sweet bucks. Come on. Come on, little doggy. I had to pay the rest of my veterinarian fee today. Unbelievable. So we got this free dog on Facebook, right? That's supposed to be, you know, like two or three thousand dollar dog. And now the free dog is a two thousand dollar dog after paying for its hospital stay. But you'll be happy to know that sock puppy is doing excellent, which is the most important thing. I would have paid ten thousand to keep her alive, I'm sure. It's 320, no, 319, huh? 319, 21, ringing the register, making our money. So that one's gone. Let's see here. Let's make it green, baby, because that's what you and I do. So let's go copy format painter of that one. Format painter, and we'll make that green. Hey, hey, hey. What's the wrong with you? Didn't do it. Format painter. Don't mess with my stuff, y'all. Don't mess with my spreadsheet, but there we go. So we go over here. We brag just for a second and say, now our profits are up to $1,200. We still have not done what we did last week. Dang it. So now we're at $1,200. So 1200 15 1200 That ain't bad, y'all. So now let's go back to the equities tab because we ain't even finished. Holy cow, we got another $243 of profit here in Disney. It's at two cents. Ring the register, baby. Monitor tab. Y'all, this is the most exciting, uh, I think, time together that we've had. Did Matt make it in here? Where is that boy? There he is. Hey, Drew. Hey, Matt, we missed y'all. 
Matt, hey, you notice we're ringing the register, baby. Mm-hmm. I see that. I forget what I'm ringing the register. Maybe in the process of buying a minivan, but I'll definitely be watching on my Thank phone. You. you are a true family man. Hey, you're not buying a new one, are you? 2017. That's my man. Look, how did I know that? That's my man. You don't buy a new vehicle, baby. No, no, no. You're doing the smart thing. That's what I did. My vans are 2015. Don't buy. Let someone else pay for the depreciation. Man, I'm so proud of you. Making all these wonderful decisions. All right, so what are we going to do on Disney, y'all? Y'all. What the crap? Oh, here we go. So Disney, I just sold a. I got to make sure if I'm in calls or puts because I forget y'all. So we're we're in the call area of Disney. So what are we going to do? We're going to ring the register again and just put on another call, aren't we? So let's go do the same old dang thing. There's a 34%, $2.09. Everybody else is looking for trades, not you and I, because we got campaigns going. Whether it be fuel sale or whatever, let's say, can we get in for 214? Give me in, baby. No, not Jack. So we'll go in. Let's try 211. Can we get in for there? Come on, get me in debt. Get, get me into Disney. Never fade the mouse, y'all. Never fade the mouse. There we are. So now we're in Disney. So now let's go book our profits because I believe it's going to be the greatest week that you and I have ever had together. So we closed Disney at two cents. I got to take this out because it slows our spreadsheet down. And now I got to manually put in that price of two cents. And we go here. Y'all, I may take the families to Applebee's tomorrow. I may say, Beth, load the kids up. We got some steamy, steamy after we close. The 1921. How's the job going today, Matt? Everything good? Another $243. Yes. Good, 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 good. Matt, it ain't going to be long. You ain't going to have that job no more. Uh, I think I'm keeping this job for a, a long time. But you are going to be a full time trader, too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because I think you, don't you see, you can do this like with 10 to 15 minutes a day? I mean, it really doesn't take that long, right? A long bathroom. Very passive. Yeah, very passive. What we do is very passive. You can get this done in, in no time and keep your job, right? With all your nice insurance and all that stuff. All right, so let's see. Do we need to do anything with silver? No, because we got 42 days left. We're up 22% in that. Do we need to do anything with DraftKings? No, we're up in that. We got 35 days. IWM. Oh, no. This is where we're going to hurt, y'all. This is what's going to kill us. Let's look at IWM. Well, first of all, let's, let's go marvel at our profits so far. So here we are. We're at 1485, dang it. I wanted to be above what we do there. Right? Well, it ain't happened yet. So let's go back. You know, dollars together, we're down 18% on that. What are we going to do? IWM. All right. So with IWM, it expires today. So we got to do something, right? And where is our strike? Come on, darling. How close are we to the money? Oh, my gosh. We're in the money. Oh, no. What do we do? What do we freaking do, y'all? Well, why don't we do this? Why don't we right click on it? And why don't we go create a rolling order? And if we roll it out from the 19th to 12 cents, y'all see how great this is for? So, what could we do if we go out and roll that down to the 230? So, technically, it's a loser, but I could still bring in $1.53 to $1.44, right? Roll her out a week. I can, you know, I can make life pretty. So why don't we just try to do that and bring in another 150, 150 bucks? Uses no buying power. Throw it out. So now keep in mind, we are taking a loss, right? We are taking the loss on this trade today. And we're replacing that with more extrinsic value into the future, right? And we also improved our strike. So we went from 231, we moved it down, or 232, whatever it was, we moved it down strike. Now, I could have moved it down here, right, as long as I got a credit. But I don't care, y'all. I really don't care. Because I, it, it, what, if, what if we're in the money next week? Well, we'll roll it out again, right? We'll just keep rolling, 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 rolling. Because we've got a little plan going on here. All right, so we got that out. So I need to kind of see, though, because i got to book my loser. Now, so, see, a lot of people would say, Jim and Rick and Drew and Matt, they would say, man, I'm not even going to count that as a loser. Well, I do, right? 
a lot of people go, it's not a loser, Bobby. You rolled it. Well, I'm, I will take the loss, right? I got big boy pants on. I actually wore pants today. I've got them on now. And I even wore underwear because Beth made me. So when you go out in public, you do that sometimes. So today, I'm going to take that loss. So let's see what that field order did right there. So we close that one for what? We close that for 303. Okay. And then I'll record this other one later, but I want to record my loser right now. So we closed that one and we sold that one out in time. Anyone got a question on that row? Isn't that beautiful that you can roll it out and still get that kind of a credit? $1.54? Gosh, good, y'all. I hope y'all see that. So let's go take our loser. This is going to hurt us today. <gasps> it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It's going to make me cry. What was that? I forget. Three, 303, baby. So let's go do it. 303. We're closing that. Man, we opened it for 255. It ain't going to hurt us much, is it? 303. How bad did it hurt us? We're going to lose 40 something bucks. I say, I say, I say, son, we're going to lose $49.10 because mine takes into account the, and we've already opened our new position, right? So we'll say we got out of this. On the 19th, our only losing trade for the week so far. And so, unfortunately, we have to make this red now. Our one red. But y'all see how beautiful that was? Oh, my gosh. We just went through and just closed, 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 closed so much of this stuff, right? So we're going to make that red. Oh, it hurts. Where did it go? Oh, it hurts me. Hurt sweet Bobby. Here we go. Make it red. Ooh, red is such an ugly color, especially if it's Georgia Bulldog red. Ugh. All right, so we got that done. So, y'all, we finished on the equities, right? And we've got everything rolled out. Now, keep in mind, we didn't have to go to watch list today. We didn't have to do any look. What am I going to trade? We need what to trade. We close one trade, we open another. Close one trade, open another. Easy peasy, right? So we don't have any commodities trades on. Right? Now we go to the bread and the butter. And the bread and the butter is our little micros trade and our micros campaign. What do we do? Broken record, y'all. We're going to close the one that is the most profitable. We're going to put another one. Let's look at all this. And I think I put one that said, yeah, new rules if it's in the top one. So the top one of this and then I said, I want it to be purple with something, some color. So here's how you do that. Go to your column right here, right? And you're going to go conditional formatting. And let's go, I think it was under highlight cell rules. Let's see. See if I can find it. Greater than, less than, between, equal. Uh -uh. Top and bottom rules. This is it. Top and bottom rules. Go to top 10 items, right? Then format cells that rank in the top, and it'll say 10. No, let's make that a one. So the very top one, and then, you know, tell it what you want it to do. Do you want it to be yellow, dark yellow? Do you want it to be light red, red text, red border? And then just do custom format. What color field do you want? Well, I think I made mine, what was it, purple or something? So you can do purple, you know, and you could say you want your font to be black or blue or green. You know, change it all through here, okay? And that's how you do that. And so the number one deal will be, it'll it'll pop that out so you, we don't have to spend time looking, right? We don't have to say, well, where is the greatest wear of the day? And we just know that it's right there. So we're going to close the 3450, right? 3450 put. Yep. So let's close her, 3450 put. Again, we're not looking at orders. We're not looking to trade stuff, we know we've got campaigns, so we don't have to look for trades. I'm going to say it 50 times today. 3450, there we are. The biggest winner on the board. Let's close her out, create close and order, buy it down at 1550. Let's do it. It's the mid and the nat. Should get out of that one right now. Cha-bing, baby, cha-bing. be the color of the, and so now those are tied. Isn't that cool? There we go. That freaked me out when it did that. So I got out of that one out. So we're going to get to book another profit of 
60 something bucks. So that takes care of the loser, the $49 loser that we had. Come on, baby, what's wrong with you? Yep, there it is, 1550. Maybe I should have made the whole darn line show up. So that's a 44.98% close. That's the profit on that one. So, oh man, it's March Madness. We got the basketball come. I mean, you know, it's just it's just a great time to be alive, isn't it? I almost couldn't sleep last night. I was so happy. All right, so we go 31921. That's when we close that one. And we'll take our 64 bucks and we will call that a 40% closer because we didn't quite get up to 50 on that. All right. So then let's see how our good week is going. Three, two more dollars. Y'all and I are going to, see, I told you, I said, I believe this is going to be our best way far. Do you know why I knew that? Bobby finally started our trading plan because I've traded Baba and I've traded Goldman Sachs and I traded so many stuff and I love shiny stuff and I want to trade so much stuff. I really do. Y'all look at this. We have, you know, 133% gold today, right? But 10% premium, 72%. Our for the year, 1% our projected are we going to make it we what's that song it got to shut the fall off anything what is that song anyway so now we've sold thirty nine thousand of premium that stayed the same it won't stay the same right because and our profits for the year have gone from three thousand five hundred to almost five thousand dollars that ain't bad in what two and a half months all right so what do we do now? All right, let's go look at our Greeks again because they have shifted. I've got all my trades in except for my micros and my other stuff. Let's see, I got to do a Rick trade at the end of the day. And look, y'all, amazingly, we went from positive delta today and guess where we're at again? Right where we need to be. Look at our beautiful theta. Oh no, now my Vega is negative. Vega. That's fine but it's not massively negative Vega, right? And stuff is gonna change when I start closing out of my SPX trades as well, right? I got some SPX trades. I've got uh, Butterfly and I've got uh, Credit Spread, my Rick, Rick trades that I gotta get out of today, right? So I got stuff that I gotta get out on SPX that's only gonna make our profits even better for the week. But we're looking good, y'all. Holy Shimon, are we looking good, all right? So, we do need to put in a micro trade. So you look and you say, how are you looking on your micro, on your overall account with negative deltas, which we always want to be, right? And then you look at the micros and you go, holy, holy cow, man, we're positive deltas on the micros, right? I'd like to have that negative deltas. So what do we do? Well, you know, we could, it's been a while. We could sell a call, couldn't we? So it's been a while. So let's kind of look at stuff here. We've got, uh, let's see what the market's doing. The market's up. If you're going to sell a call, you'd like to sell one on an update, right? And we would like to have that more at Delta neutral, right? And so we're positive deltas. So let's go in. And let's trade the micros. Where we're we going? We're not going over 60 days, so we're going to 42. Our spreadsheet will probably tell us, based on where volatility is, it will tell us the trades that we need to make, the delta. So if we trade the micros, if we trade the micros, Bobby, then we go, it'll say, you need to be trading a 15 delta. That's the recommended delta. So, We'll go out here and what we'll do, since we need negative deltas, why don't we? Why don't we sell the 15 delta call at 42 days? And look, we've got a few calls. Everything's very safe, right? Look, we've got 23% probability of being in the money. So let's go here, right? It's a 20 delta, but an 18 probability of being in the money, or we could go here but I need negative deltas uh, even increasingly. So let's go here. 
to about a 20 delta. And let's sell that one, okay? So we'll do it for 22, 25, we'll just get it filled. So if we're selling a 20 delta here and that is filled, then let's also, because I am a put seller, y'all, but if we're going to get our deltas negative, then we need to sell that farther away from the money, right? So if I'm selling a 20 delta up above, I could come down here and sell a 10 delta, right? Just to bring in uh, some premium, because that's what we do. While everyone else is looking for trades, you and I have campaigns, so we don't have to look. Let's see if we can get in for 15.50. So this delta is lower than the delta of the, there we go, I think I got, got filled on that. Yep, filled on that. So we're filled on those two. So that should have made my deltas a little more negative, right? In the micro. So we were at 11 delta. Now we're at 7.55. Rome wasn't built in a day, so we don't need to definitely get that negative deltas today because our entire account is negative deltas, right? Where we want to be positive theta. Those two trades just brought in positive theta. We've got Vega now of negative 60, uh, profit and loss of negative 6.9. Let's go back to the Analyze tab. Let's do our SPY, and let's look at our entire portfolio now, see how we're looking. SPY, I say SPY, boy. Okay, so there's SPY. And if we go hide simulation, so we just got our thing, let's go portfolio, beta weighted. And let's look at four expirations, just to see what we're looking like. And let me widen this out so we can see it. Oh, I'm so happy my thinkorswim is running so fast. So let's just move this out so we can get a great, greater appreciation for what we've got. Boom! Possible, Bobby. How is it possible? Negative deltas and took out those two features. It does not get any better than what you have seen today. It will not get better than why that thing that I posted on our room today, when you've got, you know, I got all these people that want to be my friend on Facebook and I try to look and say, you know, well, oh, this guy's a trader. And so look at what he sends me. He sends me this garbage. That's just pissed me off. Right. Where do you say that? I thought I put this in today. Did I not show you? Oh yeah, here it is right here. Look at what this nut skull Robert Miller sent me. He says, hey, Bob, first of all, he's up here saying, hey, Bobby, I see, Ben, you have investing in my in, in common. I said, well, I'm not an investor. I'm a trader. And then he tells me, hey, have you ever tried copy trading? I'm like, I said, what the crap is that? Copy trade. He said, in summary, hell, he can't even spell summary right. Copy trading is a method of investing where professional traders allows newbies in trading or investors who do not have the time to dedicate to trading the opportunity to mirror all the trades that a professional is making, blah, blah, blah. In other words, he's saying, uh, why don't you just copy my trades? We'll set it up for your account will copy mine and you give me 10% of your profits. He says, for you, and look, I come back as a smart butt and I say, but I am the expert trader, right? And I give him that. So I had to dump this stupid guy. Y'all, we don't need to follow anybody. Y'all don't need to follow me. Y'all don't need to follow anybody. What you need to do is to manage a portfolio by the Greeks. We manage our forest. Then we throw the trees up on the old on the table and we say, bend over, touch your ankles, and give me a big old cough to see how the trees are doing. We manage our winners. We look at our losers. We roll them out in time. We're broken record. You don't have to follow anybody. You know what to do now. You, you got everything you need. There's nothing more that you need. Now, yeah, we're going to do black swan hedges, and we're going to do other all kind of good little stuff, and, and we're going to do a lot of neat stuff, right? But you don't need me. You don't need anybody. You need to know how to manage a portfolio by the Greeks and by your buying power so that you're never going to do what I've done before and blow out accounts. You're never going to say, hey, man, I could have took that money and bought me a Tesla. You're just not going to do it. Now, what do I do the rest of the day? I go sleep or I go, you know, I need to close out my SPX trades or let them expire. Heck, I may just let them expire today. And I'm going to put on another RIT trade, you know, at the end of the day or as soon as I get out of this other one. 
Let's see how everything's looking here. Let's see how we're looking on the rip trade. Is anything at uh, about to be run over or anything about to be, you know, messed up? Let's see. And I need to consolidate my strikes. Don't, oh my gosh, we've got a 23 probability of that being a 46% probability that that thing's going to be touched. All right. And we've got a position there. Because that's, that's our broken wing butterfly, isn't it? The 3910, 3900, the 3880. So I go, yeah, touch me, baby. Come on in here. I want price to come in here. I want price to come right here. I hope to God that. Forgive me, Father. I hope it's 900, 4 o'clock today. My butterfly. This kind of butterfly, you know, be not next. I, I'll be back and look at the markets. So this is going to be a full winner, right? How much money did we take in on that one? So we're going to have a credit spread trade that expires today. Five days to extra. Here it is, right? And brought in a credit of, can you move brought in? So we're just fire. Now we're going to make at least... So bring in another $200 today to add to this. So all of a sudden we go from 1542 to 1700. And that should be the greatest week that you and I have had together. And that will bring us right about to $5,000 of profits this year. Matt, I may buy me and you a uh, Alabama T-shirt over the weekend just to celebrate. Size large. Large. Long sleeve or short? Short's fine. I think I will. All right. So what kind of questions we got? Jim, Rick, Drew, Matt, what kind of questions you got? Are y'all excited? You betcha. This is great stuff, Bobby. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just, and it's just portfolio management, guys. This is it. We're managing by the Greeks. There are going to be days we're going to be down two or $3,000. There are going to be days we're going to be up to $3,000, but this is the norm, y'all. When we stay away from junk trades, stay away from the stuff that you don't do well. I don't do Goldman Sachs and I don't do Bobby well, right? This is what I do well. Let's focus on the S&P 500. Let's focus on the major indices, the major ETFs. Let's trade some oil. Let's trade some gold. Let's trade some silver. And let's keep this puppy going. Now, I've got everything done that I need to do. Now, let's say you need to look for new trades, right? I've given you everything you need in a watch list. So if you need new trades today, why don't you go look at the volatility index? And by the way, I added a couple things to this, right? So... Let's say uh, I want to know what volatility, what the biggest volatility is in today. So if you were going to trade something and you didn't have something on, I would say go to silver. Go sell you a put in silver today. But sell you a put spread in silver today. Sell you an iron condor in silver today. Sell you a, um, a strangle in silver today, right? So, you know, look at the volatility of the Dow, Look at the volatility of the major markets. Look at the vol volatility of this is uh, the NASDAQ. Look at the volatility of gold. Look at the volatility of the overall market, SPX, SPY. Look at the uh, Russell 2000 volatility. Look at the oil volatility. And this will tell you where you need to trade, right? Look at the volatilities. So I want you to, on a daily basis, if you need to make a trade, do it on the one where the volatilities increase the most, right? Do it in silver. Now, I'm trading all this other stuff, too, today by these other trades we have on because they're just campaign trades. But keep them up. If you need an extra trade, go to silver. Do y'all see why? We sell increased volatility, right? That's why when we looked at VIX the other day, why on earth did I trade the VIX and put on my hedge early? Well, I did it because I saw this. I saw VIX down two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days in a row. So what did I do? Right here, I bought volatility. I bought a call, right? 
So it's time for you to do that as well. Volatility looks like it's down some today. It's gone up, but it's down again today. It's time to put on your VIX head, y'all. Because what's going to happen is VIX is going to pop back out here, up here, up here, up here. Get your VIX campaign going. It's time. Don't wait for this thing to pop back up. Hedge on. Let's see, VIX. Let's see. We ought to be close. Three days, so it would be what, Monday? Yeah, Monday you'd be putting it on. So you could chance it to let it go down Monday, but today's a good day as well, right? Because VIX is down a dollar twelve. That's when you want to put it on. When VIX is lower, put your hedge on. And so now I've got hedges in four expirations. Uh, so looking really, really good. All right, guys, it does not get any better than this. This is this is what you want to do. And guess what I, I believe that will happen next week? I believe we're going to have as good a week next week as we have this week because we've got negative delta, we've got positive theta, and we've got vega that is very much under control. That vega, as a matter of fact, is going to um, – it will, it will kind of normalize as I take some of these positions off today too. So we'll try to get that back positive, okay? So beautiful, beautiful session today. I hope you'll have a great weekend. If anyone needs me to stay over, look at something, let me know.